All right. So since you brought that up when they walk away from deposit, so at what point does the earnest money deposit no longer is yours and it's the sellers? At close of escrow, but, basically. Or, you know, there are, or isn't if you re waive your contingencies or that, well, and then you decide not to go forward? Your through. deposit is at risk. It doesn't necessarily mean that the seller automatically gets it. Okay. One, the buyer has to say, okay, I relinquish this deposit, which I've had buyers do. Two, the seller's going to request it in the, in the demand to close escrow. If you don't close escrow, I want to keep your deposit. Um, but not necessarily does it automatically go back. Sometimes you'll, you may have to go to small claims. You, I guarantee you. Yeah. You're going to go to, well, it depends on the size of it. So I said, well, you're going to, what's small claims now? 10,000 or yeah. 7,500? Yeah. But 3% of a, thing over well, the bay area is going to be a lot more than huge. that yeah so it just what at what you just have to understand that at when you release your appraisal contingency your loan contingency and inspection contingency at that point you're saying we're going to go forward and if we don't your deposit seller, is at risk yeah, yeah 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 i just like to say at risk because it's it's not 100 percent. no because they actually have to take you to court most of the time unless you just so go ahead and take my money yeah